with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh, oh, oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. He brings to life. Your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start our reading? I just can't wait to be here. Story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Oh. Story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh. He brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely. Won't you start all reading? I just can't wait to be here. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Storytime. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Monday, wherever you are, and indeed, I hope that your weekend was a good one. Thank you so much for joining in. This week, we do have amazing books, and uh, we're bringing to you lots of poetry, of course, as we continue to celebrate April, which is National Poetry Month. Thank you so much for joining in, and I hope that, uh, indeed, we continue to, to find those beautiful books and look for them. And, of course, continue to share your recommendations here with us on Storytime. Thank you so much for joining in. I had a good week. Weekend. And of course, congratulations to attended the wedding this weekend. So congratulations to you, Nicole and Quentin. Thank you so much for joining in story time. Everybody that is joining in today, let us know how it is where you are. If you're out here in Oakland or around the bay, you know that it is going to start off really cold and um, it won't get that much warmer actually. So keep your jackets close as you're going out there exploring today out here in the bay, whether you're in Oakland or the surrounding areas. Thank you so much for joining in and I'm glad that you're here. And um, yeah, we do have uh, um, this week, we'll be looking at a poem of the day for um, each of the five days that we'll be here, just in honor of uh, National Poetry Month. And of course, we're going to be trying to, as much as possible, bring in... Um, some of the poets that we may not be reading about or may not be reading from this week, but we'll try and bring them up here as well. And this one today is from Langston Hughes and says, I too sing, the, the title is I too. I too sing America. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and I eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow I will be at the table when company comes. Nobody who dared say to me, eat in the kitchen. Then, besides, they will see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I, too, am America. So that's our poem for the day for today. Remember, too, that we do have a, a fantastic guest that will be coming to Storytime, including Marietta Apollonio and, of course, Jack the Library Cat here on May 11th, getting closer and closer. And, of course, on June 3rd, we will be at Children's Fairyland to enjoy together reading sharing stories and of course just each other's company be in community together so come join us for fun at fairyland on june 3rd thank you so much for joining in today and we bring back a wonderful book yes read it not too long ago but bringing it back for this special month yes that is national poetry month and we start off with this one take off your brave this one um the world through the eyes of a preschool Poet. Yes, and it is written by Nadim, poems by Nadim, illustrations by Yasmin Ishmael, and we're reading this one with permission of the publishers, Candlewick Press. 
Very good morning to you. Welcome to Storytime. Get ready for this one. Yes, when is that time when you can take off your brave? I love this one, and I'm glad that we're here together to share it indeed today. Thank you so much for joining in. And um, yes, let us see who is with us this morning, ready to enjoy a wonderful story. Good morning to you, Amanda West. How are you doing? And say happy Monday. Oh, Sarah and Nathan, we appreciate you. And he said in a sunny and cheery Illinois. Well, thank you to you, Sarah and Nathan. And of course, Amanda, thank you so much for joining in Story Time. Happy Monday to you. And I hope that your weekend was a good one indeed. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely appreciate you. Hugs to you today. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning to you one more time. How are you doing? Tara McNamara and of course, Erin and Clara in a fairly sunny Massachusetts today. Well, thank you so much for joining in. Hope you had a great weekend. Well, I did. And I, I hope that um, with you too, I hope that um, everybody else here in this community and of course, everyone else had a wonderful weekend too. Clara got a graphic novel signed by one of our favorite authors. Please tell us who. Thank you so much for joining in. Excited for you. Yes, treasure that one. Thank you so much for joining in, Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. Tara McNamara, Erin and Clara, thank you so much for joining us on Storytime. And yes, sounds like a fun weekend you had out there. Thank you so much for joining in. Good morning to you. How are you doing today, Owen? <laughs> Love it. Good morning to you, Christine Costa. How are you doing today? Thank you so much for joining in. Miles, we send you love as well. Matt, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time. Absolutely appreciate you. Owen, oh, good to see you here. Happy New Year to you. <laughs> Good morning to you, Pamela Courtney, and of course, Braylon Chad. Thank you, and Auntie Anne. Thank you so much for joining us from out there in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Thank you so much for joining in. Absolutely love it. Absolutely appreciate you. And um, yes, always good to see you here. Thank you so much for joining us on Storytime. I hope that you had a great weekend. And of course, wishing you a wonderful week ahead. Thank you so much for joining us on Storytime today. Good morning to you. How are you doing today, Megan? And of course, Ari out there in Kentucky. Thank you so much for joining in. How is it today in Kentucky? Are the Barbies with you? Maple, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining in story time. Please get ready, get comfortable, get cozy as we'll be getting started with our story very, very shortly. <laughs> Thank you, Owen. Yes, indeed. Take off your brave, the world through the eyes of a preschool poet. This one coming to us from Nadim. I was four years old at the time of this when this was put together. And of course, uh, Yasmin Ishmael. And we're reading this one with permission of the publishers, Candlewick Press. Thank you so much for joining in story time. <laughs> the author was Drew Brockington, who writes, illustrates um, the Castronaut series. Yes, I do know those. Thank you for sharing. We discovered at our local library. Well, I'm glad that you got those signed and got to have that time. Thank you so much for sharing. And yes, I do love that series indeed. Thank you so much for joining in story time. Thank you for sharing with us. <laughs> Well, the Barbies are welcome indeed. Thank you so much for joining in. And of course, good morning one more time. And is it your birthday was yesterday? Well, happy, happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you so much for joining in. And just to be clear, was this Ari's birthday or Megan's birthday? Thank you so much for joining in. And um, yes, happy birthday to you. And uh, we'll be back for more birthday, um, birthday celebrations after reading our book. Join me on the other side of this short message. Of course, we will also show our poem of the day today. So join me on the other side of these two short clips. Well, 
Welcome back indeed. Thank you. And that was indeed Kitten Tenders. Follow them. Find the Tune Tales podcast and get to enjoy the musical podcast with them indeed. Ari, happy birthday to you. I am so glad that you're here with us. I hope that you had lots and lots of fun doing exactly what you wanted to do. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Happy birthday to you, Ari. Yes, enjoy it. Enjoy this wonderful birthday week. Good morning to you as well, Soraya, and of course, Sharon Lungo. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime and welcome just in time for our story for today. Take off your brave, the world through the eyes of a preschool poet. And this one is poems by Nadim, illustrations by Yasmin Ismail. And we're going to start off actually with one that we read last time too. And this one is called Love. So here we go together. Love. Everyone has to love someone. The wind loves someone. The sea loves someone. Spirits, letters, houses, everything you ever know loves someone. Everyone has love, even baddies. <laughs> Everyone has love, even baddies. Oh. <laughs> yes, love. Everyone has to love someone. Flamingos love someone. The wind loves someone. The sea loves someone. Spirits, letters, houses, everything you ever know loves someone. Everyone has love, even baddies. <laughs> oh, I love that one. Let's go to our next one. <laughs> Let's go to our next one. This is code. Tell me a lie about the sea. Tell me a lie about the sea. The sea doesn't have any waves. It doesn't make a sound. The fish make the shh sound. The seaweed doesn't have any names. And it makes the shh sound too. In the sea without sound, the manatee finds its bed in the coral reef with the Nemo fish. It snuggles up tight in its beautiful coral bed and snugs to go to sleep. It's easy, it's easy for it to fall asleep in the sea without waves and sound. <laughs> yes, tell me a lie about the sea. <laughs> Tell me a lie about the sea. The sea doesn't have any waves. It doesn't make a sound. The fish make the shh sound. The seaweed doesn't have any names. And it makes the shh sound too. In the sea without sound, the manatee finds its bed. In the coral reef with the Nemo fish, it snuggles up tight in its beautiful coral bed and snugs to go to sleep. It's easy for it to fall asleep in the bed or in the sea without waves and sound. <laughs> you got to love the imagination here. I love it. <laughs> Here's our third poem for today. Oh. There's so much, so much, so much to enjoy in this book. Living underground. Underground, it's soily, misty, not clear, very mysterious. Underground is where most of history comes from. And buried treasure and the lost city of Atlantis. <gasps> And it's full of beautiful insects like Billy the beetle. And he eats the worms that come down and he dreams about turning everyone in the world to stone. <gasps> well, we better not come across Billy the beetle so he can get the treasure, all of it, from every part of the world, parts of the world you've never seen before. 
<laughs> living underground. Underground is soily, misty, not clear, very mysterious. Underground is where most of history comes from and buried treasure and the lost city of Atlantis. And it's full of beautiful insects like Billy the beetle. Billy lives deep, deep underground and he eats the worms that come down and he dreams about turning everyone in the world to stone so he can get the treasure, all of it, from every part of the world. Parts of the world you've never seen before. <laughs> Share the treasure, Billy. <laughs> oh, let's look at our next poem. Uh, this one I have to bring back. It is one of my favorite from this one for sure. It's called Memories. Memories. Sometimes when I look at my memories, it makes me a bit sad. Like when I am at a different stage, it makes me think, oh, I am never going to get to do that again. Mom, did you ever have that feeling? Like when you went to school and then it ended and you started another one? Yeah. Oh, that one gets to me for sure. Memories. Sometimes when I look at my memories, it makes me a bit sad. Like when I am at a different stage, it makes me think, oh, I am never going to get to do that again. Mom, did you ever have that feeling? Like when you went to school and then it ended and you started another one? Hmm. Yeah. Lots to ponder in that one. <laughs> Let's look at another one. Another one that I, I want to bring back from last time. Beautiful book, indeed. beautiful um, poem indeed. This one is called Moments. You always have sad moments, happy moments, nice moments, angry moments. And when you smush those moments together, they make a great feeling called Abracadabradocus. <laughs> ah, yes. Isn't that life made up of all those little moments? All of the moments. Yes, sad moments, happy moments, nice moments, angry moments. Yes, smoosh them together and they make a great feeling called abracadabradocious, docus. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I love it. <laughs> we have time for more. Ah, oh, this one for my mom. Ah, oh, bringing it back again. We read it last time, but it's just so beautiful. We have to again this time. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> For my mom, who was the one who feeds me mostly? It's, who's the one that feeds me mostly? It's mom. It's my mom. Who's the one that bathes me mostly? It's my mom. It's my mom. Who's the one who gives me snuggles? It's my mom. It's my mom. She's the one who does me airplane. She's the one who takes me to nursery school. She's the one who takes me from lunch club. She's the one who goes to work in the world for me. Oh, you smell like a beautiful candle smell. You smell like a candle when it blows away. It smells really nice, the burnt bit. You smell like a blown candle. Oh. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, for my mom. Who was the one who feeds me mostly? It's my mom. It's my mom. Who's the one that bathes me mostly? It's my mom. It's my mom. Who's the one who gives me snuggles? It's my mom. It's my mom. She's the one who does me airplane. She's the one who takes me to nursery school. She's the one who takes me from lunch club. 
She's the one who goes to work in the world for me. You smell like a beautiful candle smell. You smell like a candle when it blows away. It smells really nice, the burnt bit. You smell like a blown candle. <laughs> and one to conclude today. Oh, so much, so much. Let's bring it back. Why not? This one. Take off your brave. Oh. Take off our jackets, hang them up, take our gloves, take our gloves off, take our shoes off, put them where they're supposed to go. You take off your brave feeling because there's nothing to be scared of in the house. No dark caves, no monsters, no witches, no bees, no howling sounds. You don't need your brave anymore. Wash your hands, eat lunch, go get. Cozy. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed. You're in a safe space. Take off your brave. <laughs> Take off our jackets. Hang them. Take our gloves off. Take our shoes off. Put them where they're supposed to go. You take off your brave feeling because there's nothing to be scared of in the house. No dark covers, no monsters, no witches, no bees, no howling sounds. You don't need your brave anymore. Wash your hands, eat lunch, get, go get cozy. Oh. <laughs> and there's so many more poems to share in this one, but we're going to stop here today. Thank you so much for joining in. I hope you enjoyed this one. It is called Take Off Your Brave. The World Through the Eyes of a Preschool Poet. And it is poems by Nadim and illustrations by Yasmin Ishmael. So much, so much to read in here. So many to enjoy. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you can find it at your local library and get to enjoy it some more. And if you ever come across it in a small library or anywhere else and you're able to, why not? Get a copy for yourself and own it at home. Take off. You're brave. You don't need it. You're in a safe space. Thank you so much for joining in. And also, you know, as, as we are um, going to um, our short break, I just want to also just highlight our poem of the day. As you remember, we said we will have a poem of the day for each of the days this week as we continue to commemorate um National Poetry Month. And one today is by Langston Hughes and it's called I Too. I too sing America. I am the darker brother. They send me to eat in the kitchen when company comes, but I laugh and eat well and grow strong. Tomorrow I will be at the table when company comes. Nobody would dare say to me, it in the kitchen then. Besides, they will see how beautiful I am and be ashamed. I too am America. Catch me on the other side of this short break. Hello, I'm Olalu Ogunyemi, officer in the United States Marine Corps and author of Crow from the Shadow. You are tuned in with my brother on Storytime with Mr. Lamada. Enjoy and God bless. Welcome back indeed. Thank you so much for joining in. Absolutely appreciate you. I hope you enjoyed the wonderful books that we had for you, or for the wonderful book that we had for you. And looking forward, of course, to many more story times together. And we have amazing books that we are bringing back to story time. I'm excited to share them. Thanks indeed, of course, today to um, Candlewick Press for allowing us to share that beautiful, beautiful book. Thank you so much for joining in. We fell in love with this book last time we shared it. Well, I am glad. That's what it's about, right? Sharing books together and in it, sharing books with each other and learning from them as well. And I'm glad that you love that one. Please continue to share your recommendations as well. We appreciate them. Send them our way. And I guarantee you, I will do the very best to try and bring them here to Storytime, try and get permissions for them so we can enjoy them here together. Thank you so much for joining in. Absolutely love it. 
Thank you so much for joining in. Every bit of these readings are wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Pamela Courtney. You know that coming from you. Appreciate it. Hold it, hold it very highly. It definitely makes my day here. Please continue to send us recommendations, suggestions on how we can make story time even better. Thank you so much for joining in. Take off your brave was our book for today. Tomorrow we're back. And we will be reading. I just want to make sure that I have my uh, list correct here. But let me just check one thing very quickly. And uh, we will have our list for tomorrow. And we have uh, a few books lined up. But just to make sure I have the right one on the list. Tomorrow is Tuesday. And we will be reading The Keeper of Wild Words. Yes, bringing this one after a little bit, it is coming back to story time. This one is called The Keeper of Wild Words, and it is written by Brooke Smith and illustrations by Madeline Klopfer. And of course, we'll be reading it with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco, a beautiful one indeed. And I'm glad I checked because I actually had the wrong book up for a second. But yes, this is the one that we'll be reading tomorrow, The Keeper of Wild Words. In this month of April, where we're celebrating poetry and indeed celebrating words. Thank you so much for joining in. Soraya says her class recited the Laxton Hughes poem, I Too, at a recent assembly. Oh, love, 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 love. You know what, Soraya? How about you recite one for us? Send us so we can share it here too. <laughs> If you can, of course, if you're feeling brave about it, share one, recite it, and you can share one. And if you want, we can share it right here with everybody on Storytime. Thank you so much for joining in. Absolutely appreciate you. But remember, Soraya, only if you want to. No pressure. Thank you so much for joining in. Absolutely appreciate you. And uh, yes, I look forward to sharing more poems again for you with you tomorrow. And of course, tomorrow too. Oh, we have a great responsibility. We have a great responsibility, the keeper of wild words. Find out why this book is so special. Join us tomorrow and have fun with us. Thank you so much for joining in one more time. Thank you to everybody that was joining in. Sarah and Nathan, thank you for being here with us out there in sunny and cheery Illinois. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely appreciate you. Erin and Clara, thank you for joining us. And of course, too, thank you for sharing that you got to meet one of your favorite authors. Thank you so much for joining in here. And I'm glad that you have those signed copies. Treasure them. Keep them well. Thank you so much for joining in. Owen, much love to you. Thank you so much for joining in. Story time. Absolutely appreciate you. And of course, Christine Costa, Miles, sending you love as well. Pamela Courtney, Braylon, Chad, and of course, Auntie Anne. Thank, thank, thanks so much for joining in. Story time. Hugs to you. I am glad that you are here with us on Story Time. Thank you indeed for joining in. And of course, happy birthday. To you, Ari, thank you so much for joining in. Happy belated birthday. Your birthday was yesterday. Well, thank you for sharing it with us here on Storytime as well. I hope that you continue to enjoy lots and lo have lots and lots of fun. And of course, I hope that you have leftovers too to enjoy from your birthday. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. I am glad that you are here with us. Yes, Soraya, thank you so much for joining us as well as Sharon Lungo right here in Oakland. Thank you for being here with us and thank you for sharing too. I love that you got to recite that poem, our poem of the day today. I'm glad that you got to recite that one. Look out for many more that we're bringing this week. Well, we have a total of five for this week to share. Thank you so much for being here with us on Storytime. And I must make mention too that if you've not had a chance yet to look at this book, Say Her Name by Zeta Elliott, it is a collection of poems and there are a lot of them in there. So Find it at your local library. Find it where you find books. It is also a very good one indeed with lots of very powerful poems in there by Zeta Elliott. So please find it and get to enjoy it. Yes, indeed. Pamela Courtney, we echo that with you for sure. Love it, Soraya. Great job done right there. Thank you so much for being here with us on Storytime. This has been Storytime on this wonderful Monday morning. Remember, if you're in Oakland or the Bay, it will stay cool. So remember to carry your jacket with you or indeed an extra layer or two. Thank you so much for being here with us on Storytime. Much love to you, friends. I'll see you again tomorrow when we're back for another exciting reading. And we do have the keeper of wild words. Thank you for being here with us on 
on story time and please do not forget to lots and lots of um exciting things coming up ahead of course this week we are focused on looking at books um Poetry, celebrating Poetry Month, of course. And uh, we have an amazing lineup coming up. Out of Wonder, yes, we have that one coming up. And lots more on the wings of words. So join us. Lots of great books coming your way. And of course, too, on uh, May 11th, Marietta Apollonia will be here with Jack the Library Cat. And they'll be here enjoying spending time with us here in community on Storytime. So do join us. June 3rd, we will be at the Fairyland, Children's Fairyland. So come and join us. Come and have fun with us. Of course, exciting times ahead. Thank you so much for joining in. And of course, one more time, our poem of the day. And um, this one by Langston Hughes. I, too. Thank you so much for being here, friends. Much love from me. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>